I welcome everyone to our YouTube channel AU Career Clinics. Recently, ICR and ASRB has given a notification regarding the revision of um, eligibility for ERS and NET examinations and some information related to ERS and NET also on the syllabus. We have uploaded a detailed video regarding this. Here, one of our subscriber asked many doubts related to this one. Most of you may be having this doubt. We can see in deep about uh, this ESRB, NET and ERS examination and some other examinations conducted by ISR and ESRB. Before going deep into this video, if you are new to our channel, you can subscribe our channel. Because he also mentioned that most of these doubts are being referred in Hindi only. I need guidance now. Because um, as most of the videos are in Hindi only, most of you may need videos in English. Channel will be very useful for knowing this kind of uh, agriculture education related videos and ISR videos and uh, ESRB videos in English. So you can share our channel with your friends also. So this was the memorandum notified by ICR before two days. Okay. So in this uh, memorandum they mentioned the educational qualification and the syllabus for ESRB net and ERS. So we can clarify all your doubts in this video. Before going into net and ERS, here we can see the difference between ICR and ESRB. ICRS Indian Council of Agricultural Research, you all may know, ASRB is Agricultural Scientist Recruitment Board. This is the recruitment board for ICR as like our uh, Tamil Nadu Public Service Commission and uh, Karnataka Public Service Commission or uh, Telangana State Public Service Commission like this for uh, recruiting the scientist and other giving other job opportunities to ICR. This Agricultural Scientist Recruitment Board is a board. So under which, which will recruit the scientist for ICR. Okay. So this is the simple explanation. So this simple explanation is enough for everyone okay next the second note is net versus ers okay here i will tell net means national eligibility test this is just a eligibility test and ers is agricultural research service okay this is a job but net is not a job then what is the necessity of net i will explain here so this is just an eligibility test as i mentioned earlier for example if you want to work in any particular college okay for that the qualification is clearing this net so if you have cleared a net only you are eligible to work in any college as assistant professor okay especially in government colleges some of the private colleges will take or recruit without a net also but if you have qualified a net your salary will be additional okay that is one benefit if it is in private college but for any recruitment to government college 100 percent this net is very very essential and it is mandatory okay this is national eligibility test for example i will explain clearly as now only you may have completed your 12th standard or UG you may know NEET okay what is NEET this is a eligibility test okay so if you want to pursue MBBS sure you should have qualified this NEET examination for minimum marks okay so similarly for NET also okay there is a different pattern and syllabus for this NET examination and ERS okay I will explain here so first we will tell about NET okay so here net examination is the qualifying examination as i mentioned earlier so this will be the plan of examination okay so this was for the year 2023 so for this net examination there will be 150 objective type multiple choice question which should be solved in two hours the exam time will be two hours and one question carries one mark okay and there will be the negative mark negative mark will be 30 percent okay this 33 percent mark will be the negative mark that means one by third one by third mark will be the negative mark if your answer is wrong one by third mark will be deducted that means 0 0.33 mark will be deducted but one question carries one mark so that is the exam evaluation pattern okay and here is the minimum qualifying mark for net it depends on category for example if you belong to unreserved category the minimum qualifying marks will be 75 marks okay out of 150 marks out of 150 marks the minimum Minimum qualifying marks will be 75 marks that will be 50 percent if you are belonging to obc or ews category minimum qualifying marks will be 67.5 that means 45 percent if you are belonging to sc st or pwbd category then your minimum qualifying marks will be 60 out of 150 and the percentage is 40 percentage so if you are belonging to this particular category you should have got minimum of these marks for qualifying the net if you got this mark then you are cleared net that is how it will be considered okay the syllabus was mentioned in yesterday's brochure so here is that yesterday's brochure they have notified so here is the subject qualification that is msc okay msc is the eligibility qualification for clearing net examination and for ers also can msc student be posted as ers yes 100 percent msc students are eligible to be posted as ers or msc is just basic quality 
and uh, the expected qualification is PhD. No, it's not like that. If you have done your MSc also, you are 100% eligible for this post. That is for ERS. Okay, you no need to have any doubt regarding this. And another one thing, many will be having doubt. Many will be having this doubt also whether MSc student can attend this ERS and net examination. Sure, 100% you can attend. But if you have qualified, you will not be eligible for, to get the certificate. That is the criteria. So for this, you should have completed your MSc. For getting the certificate, you should have qualified your MSc but there will not be any problem so you can attend this examination just for in order to get experience okay here is the ERS okay ERS means agricultural research service so this is for the scientist in order to work as a scientist in ICER institutes you need to qualify this ERS this is agricultural research service earlier its eligibility was PhD before two years it was MSc only for the last year only they made it as PhD and now again due to the request by students MSc has made it as eligible qualification okay so here this was for the year 2023 only here they mentioned the revised scheme of future ERS examination plan that we have explained in previous video also now also I will explain so there will be preliminary examination mains examination and by house examination this preliminary examination will be objective type qualifying in nature okay for this you should have qualified and based on your reservation and based on your category subject there will be cut off marks okay for qualifying this preliminary examination and entering into mains okay in mains examination it will be written or descriptive okay and the final examination will be viva boss okay this is that pattern and there will be another one doubt for you whether this preliminary mains and viva boss examination is both for net and ERS or only for ERS so here this three examinations are for ERS only net examination only this preliminary examination is enough only up to this preliminary examination it is for net so if you want to qualify your net this preliminary examination is enough you no need to go for this mains and viva boss I hope you may be clear to the difference between net and ERS examination okay net to only this preliminary examination 150 marks so 150 questions and the qualifying marks will be as I mentioned in the previous slide okay next with regard to this means descriptive or written examination okay here now we will see the pattern for this descriptive or examination so here for the descriptive examinations for the year 2023 during last year this year they didn't give any information but for the last year examination was for 300 marks and it consisted of 25 questions of 5 marks okay about 50 words each and 10 questions of 10 mark questions 100 words each and 5 questions of 15, 15 marks each answering 150 words this was the exam pattern and it was for 3 hours the time duration was 3 hours preliminary examination will be for two hours that is objective type and the mains examination will be for subjective type for three hours next more than that there will be third one that is interview so here for the interview how they have given mark means 60 marks and for the research accomplishments that is related to your publications or patent like that it was for 40 marks so totally it was for 400 marks but i think so as msc has made its eligibility so this research accomplishment may be removed from this overall distribution of marks we will wait for this uh, future notification. Addition to this, there is another one examination. So that is SMS STO. So these are called the T6 post. So there are different uh, technical post. T means technical. T1, T2, T3, T6 like that. There are different technical post. So with regard to this uh, T6, that is SMS and STO. SMS means subject matter specialist and STO means senior technical officer. So there are various ICR institutes. So many kvks are attached with this icr institutes so for working in that particular kvk this notification will be given that is subject matter specialist for particular subject for agronomy for meteorology for entomology like that similarly there will be different subjects of sto this is called a senior technical officer so this will be like combined notification during 2023 this uh, net sms and sto these three were given notification whereas during the year 2021 net ers sms sto all four were given notification and the preliminary examination for all these four examinations were same okay from this for net examination only preliminary examination will be there for ers examination preliminary mains interview will be there for sms and sto examination 
preliminary examination and interview will be there so these are the different job opportunities given by asrb especially if we do msc in any subject these vacancies will depend on the subjects for example for agronomy we may get 10 vacancies but for plant physiology it may be only one vacancy like that so it also depends on the subject and the availability of vacancy of a post like that